We're gonna jump on the brand new 25 Harris Grand Mariner. You can see all the beautiful lighting and bow design that they put in this one. Let's go ahead and jump on board and take a look around. The single engine joystick so right now uh, so there's a bow thruster in the front there's a bow thruster in the stern and then it also uses the the motor to help maneuver the boat so this is great for kind of close quarter maneuvering a feature that you don't yeah look at that get in a in a pontoon you can see the outboard stays stationary obviously with a single engine boat trying to dock especially when it's windy can be more challenging than a than a dual engine boat or a triple engine boat so that's a that's a super neat feature and if you push real hard on it if you push forward quite a bit and turn then it actually does activate the motor to help you maneuver the boat. oh because you can pull this thing right out of the channel using that absolutely oh wow that is great incredible what they come out with this boat's got the digital steering on it it's also got cruise control on it this whole system is you know really a nice tech integration especially in the pontoon segment so this is all a graphic user interface you can change all your lighting, all your oh, wow. uh, everything right through here. You can set both screens to have anything you want on it. You can turn on your interior lighting, your anchor lighting, your navigation lighting, and it shows everything on the screen. You can change the colors. You can see it change up here, but then it also changes on the screen. So you can see what oh, wow. you're moving for. You can change, turn on your exterior lights. So now our, t our uh, tube lights are on. You can do all of that stuff over here as well. So if I want to shut any of that stuff off, I can shut it off through a normal uh, button. I see a, a little redundancy there as well. Case. Beauty of digital switching. You can do all sorts of stuff with it. Custom stitching. You know, this is an expensive boat, so you'd kind of expect some of that, but you know, wood, wood grain down in our cup holders, the mm -hmm. embroidery, the custom dash, the embroidered dash. It's just a nice premium setup, but you know, the star of the show this week is the V10 400. For sure. What are you seeing performance wise with the So 400? we got with one person on it, I think they got up just over 54. I was on it with Paul Adams earlier and we were at I think 52. And then, you know, okay. we just had six people on it doing 50. Plenty fast. I feel this type of boat is just to sit there at 35, yeah. 40 miles an hour max. And yeah. you're cruising like you're, you know, in a Cadillac. Right. Very nice. So we hadn't been on many pontoons before, so it's nice to actually spend a little time yeah. on them here, and, and you can easily see why people love these things. Yeah. Well, they're kind of the jack of all trades, right? You can water your water sports, you can run down the lake, you can have your, you know, wine and cheese party at night. Sure. You can crank the stereo and hang out at the sandbar. Uh, it's a little bit of anything you want to do. Yep. All in one boat. All right. We'll see what that V10 400 will all do. Right, let's do it. Incredibly impressive how a boat like this can offer the comfort, the amount of seating, the performance with the v V10 400 all in one package. Now this boat is around $200,000 they mentioned, but it's you know top of the line stuff. Full JL audio sound system, that arch actually comes up and down with the touch of a button. Total package and you can do the sandbar thing, the wine and cheese thing with friends. You can uh, pull a wakeboard behind the boat. It's kind of like a multifaceted utility player. A really cool boat and again, we can definitely see us getting more and more interested in the pontoon market. So with the Mercury V10 400, this boat is capable of 54 miles an hour that they told us they reached today. But check out this back seating area. You have a forward seat, rear facing seat. This backrest is adjustable and you can actually remove that piece and lay it all the way down to create a huge sunbed. Also, if you wanna face everyone forward, you can pull this backrest up and actually lean everyone in that direction. Flip it up, bring it right down open it up you have a cooler underneath that section as well more seating right right behind me 
So the seating seems to just keep on going. You have a well-appointed helm area here, digital switching throughout, as you can see, with the pontoon diagram within it from Harris. Really nice to have everything in there. And then it's doubled up with your Boca Tech switches. You have a side door to the port side. And then actually, this is a cool little option. You can open this up, create a full dining table off to the side. So finishing things off, check out the bow area and the amount of seating you have. You can fit a ton of people throughout this bow. You have storage underneath and exit off the bow. Just an incredible boat by Harris on their 25 Grand Mariner. All right, so we jumped off the Harris Grand Mariner 25. As you can see, the sleek styling of it is really eye-catching. The performance is great with the V10 400. The amount of power that you get is phenomenal. It really feels like you're in a Cadillac cruising at 40, 50 miles an hour. And then just the amount of seating you have, incredible sound system, JL audio throughout, just excellent showing. And we're definitely becoming bigger fans of the pontoons here with this Harris Grand Mariner. Oh, 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 oh,